Today I'm going to show you how to print on fabric to make these really cool sweatshirts and t-shirts. Hi everyone! So, I've always really liked sweatshirts or just t-shirts with like graphics on them or like pictures of celebrities or just people I like or like cool little graphics like this but I've always wanted to kind of customize it and they're really expensive if you buy them at Urban Outfitters or um, like Zoomies or Paxson or something like that so I tried to find out a way to make it on my own and I came up with this and kind of something like this for all you believers out there. You can kind of wear this just like to lounge around the house if you wanted to, like what I'm wearing right now. I just have like leggings on and so it's really comfy and really inexpensive to make. You can also just like pair them with uh, skinny jeans or like maybe like a pair of leather pants to kind of like dress it up. Maybe this even looks cute. Or maybe that's a little too much. Uh, uh, I don't know. Maybe? Maybe, maybe. Or if you want to just like make a shirt to wear to a concert you're going to go to, like if you're going to a One Direction concert or something like that, or um, just if you really like a celebrity and you really like their picture and you want it on a shirt, you can make something like this. The only bad thing though is that you can't really wash these or get them wet at all because we're printing them with like computer ink so the ink isn't waterproof. If you get like water on it, it's going to kind of uh, bleed and it, it doesn't look good so you cannot get it wet and you can't wash the actual design but I mean if you like got a stain on here or something you could like wash that you just you do not by any means want to get this like the design of whatever you're going to do wet um, so don't wear it in the rain don't only wear it on a nice sunny day and if you're going to wear it do not be a klutz and do not drop your drink on it because you will ruin your amazing do-it-yourself sweater t-shirt um, thing that you made if you want to know how to make this super versatile cute easy creative shirt garment <laughs> Um, just stay. You're going to need 100% white cotton fabric, which I already cut into strips the same size as a piece of computer paper. Wonder Under Feasible Web, which you can find at Hobby Lobby and Michaels. Fabric scissors. A large bowl. Super washing soda, which I was only able to find at Food Pyramid. I couldn't find it at Walmart or Target. Fabric softener alum which you can find in the spice section in your grocery store measuring spoons a 9 by 13 inch cake pan and I just use a really old burnt one a mason jar to put your extra DIY bubble jet 2000 liquid we're going to make a measuring cup an iron and I stupidly didn't take a picture of this but you'll obviously also need a sweater or t-shirt to put your design on. I get my sweaters at Walmart and my t-shirts at either Hobby Lobby, Michaels, or Joann's and they're all really cheap there. The first thing we're going to do is make a homemade Bubble Jet 2000 solution which gives you a more vibrant color when printing on your fabric and it helps it a little bit from bleeding if your fabric happens to get wet. So take two and a half teaspoons of washing soda and put it in your bowl and kind of use a bigger bowl because it's going to kind of foam up later and you'll see what I mean. And then you're going to take half a teaspoon of liquid fabric softener. Put that into your bowl as well. Now get two tablespoons of alum. Again, put that into your little concoction. And then you're just going to take a cup of hot water and I just put this in the microwave for a minute and then you're going to put that in your bowl and you can see now that it's kind of foaming up. Um, so yeah, you definitely want to use a bigger bowl or else it's going to go everywhere. <laughs> and then you're just going to mix, mix, mix that up. Just keep mixing, just keep mixing, just keep mixing, mixing, mixing. And then you're going to put that into your pan, and mine looks so ugly, but then after you put it in your pan, you're going to start soaking your strips of fabric into the solution that we just made. So I'm just putting the first one in there, and then I'm just going to continue like stacking them, and then just kind of like washing it kind of, and just really getting it saturated um, with the fabric. 
And once you have all of your fabric pieces soaking inside the little cake pan, you're going to let that sit for about 15 minutes and then you can either just let it dry overnight or if you're really impatient, you can just put it in the oven. I mean, not the oven, <laughs> in the dryer. <laughs> yeah, you're just gonna eat those yummy little alum fabric sheets. <laughs> Before you dry them, make sure you kind of squeegee out all of the liquid and if you have any extra, you can put it in that little mason jar or some kind of jar so you can save it and use it next time. So now we're just going to take our iron and make sure all of the water is out of the iron. You don't want any, any water in there. So make sure the steam is off and make sure the option is put to dry or else it's going to mess up your fabric and your picture. So now take your Wonder Under Feasible Web stuff and kind of take your sheet of fabric that's already dried and kind of lay it out so you can get an idea of where to cut the Wonder Under. And you're going to cut it like right down the middle and then my Wonder Under is the exact same size as my like two sheets of paper, so it's like completely perfect. So I just cut it once and then I can fold it in half and then I can just cut it uh, like horizontally, I think that's what it is. And then um, it's like two perfect sheets of paper. Now that you have the correct size of Wonder Under, you're going to take your fabric and put it right on top of the rough side. So make sure the fabric is touching the rough side of the Wonder Under. And then you're going to take your dry iron and press it onto the paper and make sure the edges especially, and really the whole entire thing, but make sure the edges are really um, fused to that Wonder Under fusible web stuff. And you can take like a like a like a clean fabric sheet and put it right on top so if some of the wonder under is kind of peeking out it doesn't get stuck to your iron so this keeps it a lot more clean and I would definitely do this on an ironing board but it was late at night and I didn't want to go downstairs and like wake up my parents by filming and stuff so I'm just doing it on my carpet but I would definitely definitely do it on an ironing board so yeah just keep um, ironing until it's completely stuck together and then you're gonna get these kind of like scraggly little pieces at the edges so just take your scissors and cut it to make a really clean edge they're like little like thread things from the fabric now load your fabric paper that you just made into your printer and print off whatever picture or graphic that you want to put on your shirt or your sweater and then you're, it's going to be kind of uneven so just take your scissors and make everything even so it looks really good on your sweatshirt and your t-shirt. And now you're ready to turn your plain Jane shirt into an awesome, cool, beautiful face person on your shirt kind of shirt. <laughs> And then um, you're going to just kind of peel off the fabric from your fusible web. And what this does is the rough side that you kind of felt on your fusible web earlier, it gets transferred onto the fabric. And so now it's kind of like a glue. And then once you iron that, like now that like, does that make sense? Now that the rough part of like that glue stuff on the fusible web is on the back of the back of the fabric fabric sheet you made you can iron it onto your actual sweatshirt or your t-shirt oh my gosh that's a lot of words hopefully that made sense and so now I just am ironing after I kind of um, measured what was like the best for me I tried it on and about two inches is really good for like a like a full size eight and a half by eleven picture so two inches down from the collar line and so I'm just ironing it. I ironed it on with the fabric on top first and then I ironed it on with the just itself so I could set the ink. And again, definitely you wanna make sure the edges are completely stuck to the shirt. And then my Justin Bieber one is done and so here's just a different one that I made. It's like a, a diamond. So it's not just like a 
rectangle sheet of paper what I did was I just printed it on a rectangle sheet of paper and then while it was already on the feasible web I cut around it so I had like perfect perfect lines and so again just measuring you definitely want to try it on and make sure you know where it looks best on you because the diamond was like two and a half inches down from the collar whereas the other one was only two inches so I'm just ironing on again so I can glue it on to the shirt and it looks really really good like I really love this it looks like the diamond supply shirts or sweatshirts at least I think so and it was a lot cheaper this was like seven dollars to make <laughs> And now you're done with your complete customizable top and that picture is completely fused and isn't going anywhere. Now let your imagination run wild! So I hope you guys like my tutorial and that it comes in handy for you sometime. And if you guys try this out, you can leave a video response below of your creations or you can add me on Instagram. My username is the same as my YouTube, Dime Cakes and just tag your pictures with Dimey, D-I-Y, so I can see your creations. And if you have any other um, DIY requests or any other video requests, just put those in the comments below and I will definitely check them out. So um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!